Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. Welcome to the kitchen. It is Saturday evening and I'm getting ready to make some dinner. And I thought I would take you along with me and show you just how easy this recipe is. And uh, it is uh, actually not a very expensive recipe to make and it's delicious. Okay, so I just put a cube of margarine into my pot that I just turned on a medium heat. We are going to make jambalaya today, okay? And I get this at my local grocery store. I know you can find this at Walmart. I'm sure you can find this at almost any grocery store. And it doesn't have to be this brand. It can be any brand that says jambalaya mix on it. Now you can add several different things to your pot here for your jambalaya, whatever your taste preference is. First thing I'm going to do, now that I have my margarine in there, is I am going to add one package of sliced mushrooms because I want those to saute up a little bit and kind of get um, soft, not so, not so hard. I mean, the mushroom is not hard, but I like it a little more cooked, you know. Get my handy dandy spoon here. So we'll start letting that saute. And the next thing I'm gonna put into the pot is two packages of peeled garlic. Now you all know I love garlic. My husband loves garlic. Sometimes I think this is what keeps us semi-healthy. I mean, we do get colds and, you know, a flu bug here and there, but I don't get sick a lot. And I sometimes think it's chalked up to the fact that we eat a lot of garlic. I could be wrong, I don't know. But maybe that's why the mosquitoes don't like me. <laughs> I don't get bothered by the mosquitoes and we have lots of mosquitoes here. I'm just gonna chop up this garlic just a little bit before I put it in. Now, if you don't have uh, garlic cloves, but you have a jar of minced garlic, oh, that works great too. And if you're not a garlic fan, then you just don't add it, okay? It is a very warm day today. It got up to 97 today. I don't know what it is right now. Right now it is 625 at night. I'm not quite sure what the temperature is, but my husband turned the air conditioner on about three o'clock. And then when I got home, because we don't have central heating and air, 93 right now at 625. When I got home, my bedroom was 85 degrees. So I turned that air conditioner on and it's gone down to 81, so we're on the we're on the cooling streak now. But it's gonna be like that, the heat's gonna be like that uh, for the rest of the next, for the next 10 days at least. Okay, so I am going to add just one stalk of celery, just because I had some celery in the refrigerator. And you know, I never seem to use a whole, um, bundle of celery up it seems like some of it always goes to waste but so I thought well what the heck let's put let's put a uh, stock into the jambalaya I'm not a big celery fan like to have it in my tuna salad sandwich or something like that but I do like it in soups I do like it with peanut butter My husband will joke with you that I like anything if it has peanut butter on it. Let's get that mixed up a little too. And all these are just starting to saute in here. Now you could add a chicken, you could add shrimp, you could add, what I'm gonna add today is some smoked sausage, um, but you could add whatever you like to this. I'm gonna take a whole onion. I'm gonna cut half and see what that looks like. And I might add the other half, I might not, we'll see. So I don't know if you guys saw my video, but I met up with another YouTuber, uh, Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living, and she was a very sweet lady. We had a great lunch. We stayed at the pizza parlor there for about an hour and a half visiting. And we said that probably in a couple of months we'll do it again. And I told her maybe we could go to one thrift store because she goes thrifting for everything. She asked me, you know, what I had, if I had any plans afterwards. And I said, well, I do want to go to Michael's since I'm over here and uh, get some flesh colored 
alcohol markers for my coloring. And then I said, I want to go to Kohl's and get a new purse because my other purse died and I don't have a lot of purses. I'm, um, I got rid of most of them when I was trying to declutter and I have this little backpack I'm using right now and I can't stand it, it's way too small. So I was gonna go to Kohl's, which I got tired, I didn't wanna go to Kohl's. Okay, I'm only gonna use a half of an onion. That's plenty. I'm gonna save the other half in a Ziploc bag for later. Maybe we'll have tuna fish sandwiches tomorrow for lunch. I love tuna fish sandwiches. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, uh, pull, this uh, smoked sausage up and put it into the pot as well. But anyways, Mrs. Peach says, you should go to the thrift stores. They have all kinds of purses there. But you know, I don't thrift a lot. I really don't. Um, but I told her maybe next time we meet up, you could take me to one store to go thrifting and see how I like it. And she had on a beautiful necklace today. She said she got it out of the thrift store and the lady gave it to her because she goes there so much. <laughs> and her shoes, her shirt, her pants were all from the thrift store. So I know a lot of people find lots of great things at thrift stores. I'm honestly probably just, I'm not patient enough. But, so I'm cutting these up in like little bite-sized pieces. Like about that big. And I'm gonna put the whole, the whole package in here. Um, and like I said, uh, you know, this is great with shrimp or chicken. But this is what I am. I've always made it with the Polish sausage. Maybe because it's, uh, more, um, it's cheaper, you know, it's more cost sufficient. So, and we will definitely have a lot of leftovers, so we can have that for lunch. I don't cook anything else to go with this. I mean, I guess you could cook some fresh veggie to go with it if you wanted to, or corn on the cob or something. Um, but you're gonna have your rice in here. You're gonna have your meat in here. You'll have a few vegetables, not real, not like leafy greens or anything, but you've got your mushrooms and your uh, celery and onions and garlic. And then I'm also going to add some black olives. And that will be the extent of it. So, yeah, I hope you guys go over and check out Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living um, channel if you're not subscribed to her. She's a very new, sub, uh, very new YouTube channel. So she's trying to grow her channel. And if you're watching me and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would just hit that subscription button and subscribe, you know, it's free, and help me build my channel. I have a goal of, right now, wanting to reach 3,000, and I'm about 5,500 away. So, it would be awesome. 5,500, 500 <laughs> away, not 5,500, I'm 500 away from Reaching 3,000. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll watch a movie tonight. I don't know. I kind of want to just relax. It was so busy in town when I went to go to Michael's afterwards. It was so, so busy. to bring the camera over so you can see my lovely pot of jambalaya cooking. There it is. Gosh darn it. There we go. I'm going to now add my black olives. It was just one small can of the already sliced black olives. 
person. Let's see. This says I need to add two and a half cups of water. All right, well, we are going to bring this back to a boil and then we're going to simmer this for about 25 minutes. And then, as they say, soup's ready, except for it will be jambalaya's ready. Okay, so I'll see you back when it's ready. I just wanted to show you all this deliciousness cooking in the pot right here. We're about ready to eat. I'm gonna give it like another five minutes just to absorb a little bit more of that liquid and then I'll be dishing it up. Okay, dinner is served. Yummy, yummy, as my dad would say, delicious and nutritious. On the right there, we just have a little jello parfait um, salad and then our jambalaya. Have a good evening, everybody, and happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. Bye-bye.